Have you ever had that feeling when you wake up and you aren't sure if your dream was a memory or a fantasy? Last night I had a dream. The same dream I have been having over and over again. In this dream, I'm going through something that I have never and could never imagine myself going through. In this dream, I was the same me, but different. The me that wears a mask every day with the motto, fake it better. The me that hates herself so much, but tries to love herself, but still hates herself, mainly her body and who she is starting to become. But the me in this dream is different because she spends most of her time with her best friend who I didn't think she would ever talk to. Her name is Mia. They would eat together, they would hold each other, they would even go to the bathroom together. I have heard of Mia before and she is quite popular, especially with girls. But I never liked her. I have never liked her because she is a dangerously beautiful tempting goddess and demon. She is so persuasive and manipulative, beautiful and cruel, dangerous and safe, deathly and lively, she is possessive. I have heard stories from people she used to be friends with, but who had escaped her. They would tell me, We just wanted to be beautiful, and she said she could help. She even promised me I could eat as much as I wanted to. So I did. But after, she would punish me. And I would let her, because she explained that it will help, which I did. I started to lose weight, but... Recently, when I look back on those stories, that's how they end. That's all I can remember. That must be what got my dream self to become best friends with her. Always eating together and always taking punishment together. Mia's beautifully cruel, soft, slender fingers sliding their way down my dream self's throat, adding new cruel marks of my teeth to the tops of her knuckles. Suddenly, as if in slow motion but all at once, all of the added weight plus some flows, like a beautifully cruel waterfall summoned by the magic in Mia's fingertips. The mix of colors painting the world that she would soon simply flush away. Simply, simply, simply. Simply flushing away all the things that keep you alive. My dream self always waits a minute to stand up so she can gather herself. She would stand up and look in the mirror to look at her body to see if there are improvements. Her stomach, a little less. Her once glowing, beautiful brown eyes dull and bloodshot from the pressure and the loss of energy. Her knuckles with teeth marks and fingers covered in spit. The number on the scale drops another pound as she drops to the ground because it wasn't enough. There must be more gone. Mia agrees. And suddenly, it's as if her hypnotic siren voice multiplied by the number on the scale. Taunting me, screaming at me, telling me I'm not trying hard enough. The voices in my head are overpowering all of my senses, making my body a punching bag for their abusive siren voices, pulling me deep into a black hole. I grew up with people telling me that rhyme. That sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That never prepared me for sticks and stones, only making blood rush to right under the surface of my skin, and words like fireflies lighting up the darkness of my mind, only to shatter all of my sanity and shine the biggest spotlight on my insecurities and flaws. <sighs> now replacing the teeth marks are dark bruises. Her knuckles pulsating, swelling, and bruising from punching the floor because of who she is becoming. She realizes that Mia has lied. She is losing weight, but the weight isn't from the food. The weight is her. Who she is. Who I am. That's when I woke up. The dream seemed so real. Scary how that can happen, huh? I go to do my morningly routine. I go to the bathroom to brush my hair and teeth. I turn on the lights, look in the mirror, but it's not me in the mirror. It's Mia. My shining brown eyes, dull and strained. 
my knuckles bruised and swollen, the smell of stomach acid still lingers on my breath. I quickly reach for my toothbrush and dump a mass of toothpaste on the bristles. I try to scrub away the smell of the sign of reality. I spit and rinse, the bitter taste is still in my mouth, but now, mixed with the blood slowly streaming from my gums, I fall to the floor and cry and cry and cry. And that's when I realized it wasn't a dream. Ever since I was in kindergarten, I have been bullied. I've been called so many names, mainly fat and ugly. I have felt pressured by almost everyone but my mom to attain the ideal body weight. The difference between then and now, I'm beginning to believe for myself the things I tell my friends who call themselves fat and ugly. I am beautiful the way I am. So are you. Everyone is. Sure, it's easier to say than believe, but you won't see you're purely beautiful until you can step on the scale and smile instead of cry. And when you can look in the mirror, look into your eyes and say, I, I love, love you and you are beautiful. beautiful.